Hey everybody, first I gotta make a personal announcement. It's a happy day. I finally have my internet back up. Internet has been down for a while. There's some wiring issues. Finally someone came out today, fixed the issue, some cables were cut, and now um, we are good to go. Just so you know, my dedication to this channel, I have been using my cell phone hotspot for a while now, and you only have so much data you can do that with, so when that doesn't happen, then I have to go to Starbucks. Starbucks is like almost 30 minutes away, and I'm doing this for you guys and to make this channel flourish and grow and to give you content. So I've been dedicated to it. So thanks for sticking with me. Adam has been doing a really, really good job with the interviews. He's had uh, Eli Drake on KM. And it's time for me to get back in the saddle and knock out some interviews myself. I've had a few lined up for a little while. And we're about to get a crack in once again. So I've got um, Hakeem Zayn, Rohit Raju coming up. We're, we're holding off on him until the Hit Squad debuts on Impact. And then uh, Braxton Sutter is another one that I'm really excited about for obvious reasons. But he's going to, I'm pushing him off a little bit because I've pretty much um, pretty much scheduled with everybody else first. And then I'm going to get Marche Rocket on again soon. I know he's no longer with the company. I had him on a couple years ago. Really nice guy. So it's it's kind of cool to talk life after impact. Very similar to what I did with Adam Thornso from Reno Scum. But the next guest that I have coming on, you've probably heard him on any Impact Wrestling podcast that you've, you know, that you listen to. He does a lot of podcasts because he likes telling his story and all that good stuff. But Congo Kong will be coming next to the Impact Lounge. So I want to know what are your questions for Congo Kong. I've talked to him a little bit and I told him I'm going to do my absolute best to deliver a very professional and original interview. Not asking the same old questions. Which I usually try not to do that. But with him especially, he's getting, you know, him and other wrestlers I've talked to get a little tired of being asked about where they train or who their dream opponents are, things like that. If you want me to ask those kind of things, I will, because what I do at the end of my interviews is kind of a rapid fire Q&A. I read off the fan questions. So the fan questions can be anything. If it's a dream match or whatever, I still might throw that in there. But delivering my actual interview with him, I'm going to do my best to give him something that he hasn't gotten before. And as I've said before, I try to do what's in context of their character. Uh, I'm not saying they're going to go into into character, but uh, try to do in context of their character. And I'm not going to get too far out of the realm of that, but please in the comments, let me know if you've got anything for Congo Kong. I definitely want to talk Jimmy Jacobs, global force wrestling, Laurel Van S, you know, that kind of stuff. A couple other things I got in the dome piece that people haven't really been talking to him a whole lot about. So I'm going to do that, but anything you got, Please let me know in the comments and we're going to be toying around with different formats and things that are that nature on these interviews because the interviews do not do the numbers that some of the other content does on the channel. And I don't want to hear it's because of the length because we've done all the way from 20 minutes up to an hour, but it doesn't compare to even some of the impact reviews. You, you feel what I'm saying? So if I was a fan, if I was on the other side, I would have a lot of interest in the interviews. So there's, I feel there's a little bit of a disconnect with the, with the, um, the listeners and interviews and, and us and everything. So going to try to figure out um, what that is, uh, create a good format, a great, a great, uh, a great length. And, um, you know, just keep doing the damn thing here on the impact lounge, baby. So anything you got for Congo Kong, please leave it in the comments. Talk to you soon. Peace.